and the chair will now administer the oath of office. If all members elect will raise their right hands. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you are about to enter, so help you God. Congratulations, you're now members of the 113th Gun. When you add up all of the other government agencies in the federal budget, the Defense Department is only 17%. Yet the law that was put in place took 50% of that 17%. The biggest problem with the effects of sequestration is that there's no telling what they will be because sequestration uh, will last for so many years. It, it's not just going to happen this year, but then next year we'll be looking for other ways to save. So it's never ending. It's never ending. But now Congress is trying to reach into that, that pocket and take those benefits away. Uh, it would be criminal to take these benefits away from these people and then force them to have to uh, subsist uh, on just the meager pay that they have. At the end of the day, the, the armed forces are about people, people who have raised their hand to defend the nation. And they are the most important weapon system we have as a nation. And when we start cutting back on that weapon system, it's like cutting back on any other uh, thing. You are going to pay a price for that.